Not a little bit going, trying to go in between the legs of L.A. Tedoya. That's what um, uh, Coach Tim Cohn was upset about. And Tim Cohn is still filming. Now he's upset because that happened right in front of two referees in the corner. And, uh, and obviously right in front of him. 38-35 count. Launch produces nothing. And Baguio is fouled by Helter Brand. It's timing that uh, breakout. First on Helter Brand. Let's count the team fouls. Two already against the Barangay. So everyone's saying that uh, by now Helter Brand should be 100% fit. You know, he did show that in their last game, which was a victory against Rainer Shine. But in this game, it seems that he. Again, he doesn't have that bounce that we that gave him that MVP last year. And I think uh, the defense of Alaska is forcing them and that that to happen as Tubin knocks it in. It's a three, and we're not at a 38. Ito yung pinag-usa pa natin kay Nasev. Parang yung hinebra kanina hindi maganda yung nilalaro pa. Bigit yung laban, and now their shots are starting to fall. And that's why they've already tied quickly. And Baggio tries to nip it in the butt by nailing that jumper from 15, restoring the lead to Alaska. Already with eight. In the meantime, Baggio regains possession over to LA. Back to back hit by the Aces. The turnovers can really douse cold water on your rally aspirations or your good run. That's what happened to Inebra. They got close, they tied it, and then Alaska got a basket right away, but then did not take care of the basketball. Tenorio who just scored his seventh and eighth points off the layup on the other end, guilty of this foul. Number two. I hear it's the uh, birthday of Ed Pixon and Chiki Reyes uh, today. So, uh, Ed, happy birthday, Chiki. Happy birthday to you, too. In the meantime, L.A. shares a birthday with you. Hello! You know, I'm sure... Yeah, birthday kit na nila. Oh, para Sir Ed, ito ang tuwa yan sa sabagad ng play. And I'm sure he enjoyed that one. Happy birthday, partner of mine for many times, many coverages, Mr. Ed Pixon. And ito, regalo ng Alaska para sa iyo. Brought to you by Ang Tape na Di Nagmamansya, Max Masking Tape. Naimbag nga Rabi sa mga taga-Ilocos at La Union at saka sa mga lugar na mag-i-enjoy ng Yakult Slam Dunk. Ito, pampagana sa gabing ito. Alam na alam, parang kinoreograp. 44-38, biglang uh, pagkatapos ng tabla natin, 6 straight points by Alaska, getting them uh, way out in front. Tubit gave us the uh, knotted score earlier. He's trying to get his team going with this kind of move. Actually, Ronald Tubit, the one guy that has taken a lot of attempts for his team, did not make a lot of baskets in that first quarter, although he did take a lot of good looks. Here in the, here in the third, doing much better. Look at this, a bit of a mismatch. Tubit trying to work on defense. That shot does not work. Simpson has a hand on it. Reverses, gets it to go on a difficult twist. And there's always going to be that mismatch, Seth, because Alaska plays with a big, small forward. Now, Ginebra, what they're trying to get away with is to play a small player at small forward, that being Ronald Tubit. Okay. Inside we go with Daniels. And he has a 12-point evening. This offensive set is dying. This is the last option. Well, Devan said, you're, you're rushing us too much. We'll take care of it, but don't worry. And he'll go to the line for possibly a, one more point. 
right here. Gonna go ahead and have a play good defense till about the 23rd seconds. Came when the 24th second came, they did not box out, and that gave them an extra possession again for Alaska. We said, okay, never. They're a very good rebounding team, but Alaska really fighting hard and being competitive on the glass today. There's so many missing parts uh, in the Barangay Ginebra game, at least up to this point. We've mentioned uh, those who have not scored yet. The rebounding uh, area, bit of a problem there. Daniels attracts the five defenders. There's the shot by the Spark. I think for both teams right now, it's been a better scoring quarter. Alaska, on uh, their end, they've already scored 14. The same with uh, Ginebra. Kagiwa with his fourth point. Scoop pass over now. Baguio who slipped, recovered. Devance, nowhere to go. That is fight. Now that's big for Barangay Nebra because Daniel, he had two blocks in his first game. I believe this is his first block of today. They need shot blocking because they're actually last in the league in terms of shot blocking because when you look at their lineup, there's not one guy there that is actually a shot blocker. So if you can bring an import that can do that, uh, fill that hole, very critical for them. It increases their defense. Tenorio rushed that shot because of the time pressure. And you know, the uh, block can give you a huge lift. Cortez says, I'm inspired. But that shot didn't work. Tenorio's baseball pitch. Bothered and taken away by Mike Cortez. Kagiwa with the wraparound dribble. Two of his favorite spot. Oh, look at this, no dribble. And he will go to the line, Jason, uh, after a foul was committed as well. So I've got to give it to Cyrus Kagiwa. On one end, he played defense on Mark Kagiwa, which reached the corner of the side of uh, Inebra. But then, after the miss, attacked the defense right away of Ginebra and got the layup on the other end. The guy that had that uh, put in the most mileage on his sneakers in that play alone and gets that uh, wide open layup yes. and a chance for a three point play. Cortez ended up with a personal and uh, it's his first now. It's Ginebra in search of a player that will spark them. Not necessarily the game. Well, they need somebody. Maybe it'll be Salvation who's waiting in the wings in the uh, three earlier the first half. Eight seconds on this set. Two bit. Miller. Yes. Might as well play small and get some dividends out of this. And, and that Willie Miller got that basket because he moved without the basketball. Even though there's a lot of talent on that team, if there's no people movement and ball movement, you're not going to get good shots. And right there, they had people movement, they had a wide open layup. And Baguio simply sensational so far with 12. Alaska's managed to keep Barangay in at Bay despite that deadlock earlier. And this is tapped away. Cortez says, let's reset. Daniels with a full shot clock, shoots in a crowd and ended up with nothing. Four minutes to play in a briskly moving basketball game. Cross. Bungled it. Two bit is gone. And got a foul as well. This could be the spark that the Barangay needs. Baguio ended up with his second foul. Watch this again. Turnover on one end. Zaynas Baguio taking advantage, or rather Ronald Kubik taking advantage of that turnover. And a poor foul right here on Cyrus Baguio. Had to just give that up for Ronald Tubit. Now a chance for three-point play. Ronald Tubit have a, a, an excellent quarter here in the third. Already with his uh, seventh point, looking for his eighth. And Tubit's total is 12 with 3.49 to go. Third quarter. Denario's pass nearly snapped away. 
Simpson starts that drive of his, sees a bit of opening, is hijacked. 